What's up all stars, this is Joe King Johnson for here bringing you the death chart analysis for the Chicago Bears. Hopefully you guys enjoy this series because I will do all the analysis for every single team in the NFL. So hopefully you guys stay tuned for that. So uh, so yeah, let's start off with the quarterback guys. We got Jay Cutler in the quarterback position. Of course, he's going to start off reducing Campbell. He's a lot better as you can see here. He has 87 overall. He's pretty amazing guys. He's, a, he's a, mostly a complete quarterback also. I mean, he has 98 throw power, 87, 87 short throw accuracy. Medium throw accuracy, he has 81 and he has 83 on deep throw accuracy. So, so yeah, he's pretty good, guys. He's better than Jason Campbell, guys. I suggest starting him off as in the, in the quarterback position, not Jason Campbell. So yeah, be smart about that, guys. In the running back position, we got Matt Forte. Of course, he's the most complete running back, almost just like uh, Arian Foster and uh, Darren McFadden over there. You know, he's a pretty great running back. He's going to start over Michael Bush. In the fullback position, we got Unga and Klutz. Now, for sure, you're going to be asking, well, who should I start, guys? You know, they both have the same overall. No, you're not going to start uh, Klutz. You're going to start Unga. The reason why is because you need a fast guy to pull in the outside, guys. You, for sure, there's going to be a tons of counters made by so many people, and people are going to be wondering, you know, I need a faster fullback. You know, Unga is the guy for you guys because he's going to actually pull to the outside. He's going to get those blocks that you need for the outside, for the outside tosses, for the uh, counters, and uh, some stretches that you're going to run, guys. So, yeah, Harvey Unga is going to be the man for the job. Now, in the wide receiver position, we got Brandon Marshall, Devin Hester, Earl Bennett, Ashton Jeffrey, and Eric Weems. Now, do not forget about Johnny Knox, guys. He's also a receiver. And uh, he's a pretty fast receiver, as you can see here. He has 96 speed. He's, in real life, he's actually injured. I, I think he's off for season, so he's no longer uh, in, the, in the roster of the Chicago Bears in real life. But uh, in here, he's still here. He's still in the roster, you know, in the, in the IR. So, uh, so I just put Johnny Knox in the third in that third string position. Why? It's because, you know, he can actually break out through the line of scrimmage. Well, you need that third guy to go, you know, he's going to be there, guys. So, yeah, have Johnny Knox in the third string. Alston Jeffrey is actually a great receiver. So, I suggest start him as fourth stringer. And he's a lot better than Noel Bennett and Eric Williams at the same time. So, Alston Jeffrey, uh, you can switch him over to third string. I don't, uh, I don't know, but you don't. You guys want a fast ass. Um, fast ass often. I suggest to put Johnny Knox as third. If you guys want a more like a. Like a strategic offense, as it's just to start Alston Jeffrey, you know, for um, strategic offense. But you know, Johnny Knox is a fast guy, and uh, he might be able to break this press, guys. He might be able to get off the line of scrimmage a lot faster than Alston Jeffrey. So it's up to you guys. It's a 50-50 between these two guys, Johnny Knox and Alston Jeffrey. Now, in the tight end positions, here's a big trick right here, guys. You can actually start receivers over here, and um, Austin Jeffrey is one of those guys that can be in the tight end position. Why? Because Matt Spieth, Matt Spieth is pretty useless here. And even though he's 6'7", he's pretty goddamn slow, and he cannot block for crap, guys. So, yeah, he sucks for the run blocking. He's not pretty fast, but he can catch the ball. I suggest not to start him, guys. He's pretty lame. You see, he has no impact blocking. Who's going to pancake the air? And that's about it. So, I suggest to put Austin Jeffrey over Matt Spieth and try out Austin Jeffrey in the passing in the passing place only like uh, in the shotgun formations or any other uh, any other formation that consists of a passing play so um, so yeah I suggest to, Austin, to use Austin Jeffrey in the passing pl plays and uh, he's pretty tall he can easily break the press and uh, he's gonna get out there a lot faster than Cullen Davis even though you, you know you can say like oh you know he's tall and he's kind of fast yes he's kind of fast but he's not faster than Austin Jeffrey now, if you're going to run the ball out of a strong eye or any other formation, you're going to run, run from anything, I suggest to switch them in substitutions. Yeah, there's, there's a substitution is in the, before you choose to play, press R1, and you can be able to switch these two guys. And uh, if you're going to run the ball, I suggest to use Kellen Davis because he knows how to block guys. You can see here he has 78 strength and some certain kind of uh, impact blocking and run blocking. So, yeah, if you're going to run the ball, use Kellen Davis. If you're going to pass the ball, Use Austin Jeffrey, guys. So, yeah, don't get confused right there. If you're going to pass Austin Jeffrey, if you're going to run Kellen Davis, guys. Take that as a note right there. In the left tackle position, of course, Kyrus Gooden is going to start over Marcus Webb. And the uh, left guard is pretty much set. The O-line is pretty much set, guys. The center is pretty much in a great position right there. And the right tackle is pretty good. So, yeah, it's going to be able to. you're going to be able to run a lot better in the right side. Now, the defensive lineman, guys, I suggest to start McClellan. If you're going to run a dime or any kind of a, a four defensive lineman that's going to require you to pass rush, I suggest to start McClellan and put Adonike or whatever his name in Israel to put him as DT, guys. Put him as DT. Why? Because you're going to have the fastest defensive lineman. You're going to have a lot of pass rush power. And, uh, you know, they're going to be able to get to the quarterback a lot faster than any other defensive lineman in the NFL. You look, this is pretty much a complete pass rushing D-line. Now, for sure, you're going to be asking, how do I set up uh, on the 3-4? 
I suggest to put uh, Israel back to the defensive end position, and he, you're going to be able to do good in the 3-4. You're going to be able to have a run-stopping defense pretty much uh, pretty much set, guys. I will also do substitutions uh, series for every single third to team. So how to set them up in a 3-4, how to set them up in a 4-3, and uh, in the dime also, guys. So, yeah, do not worry. I will also teach you how to use the substitutions for every single team. So, so yeah, guys. Um, this is pretty much a pass rushing defense alignment right here and they're pretty much set for anything guys they're pretty much set for anything and uh so yeah guys enough of the defense alignment let's go to the linebackers nick roach is going to start over in the left outside linebacker he's pretty great he's pretty fast so i suggest to leave him there or lacquer always in the middle guys he's pretty much a uh, of a veteran middle linebacker he's going to get every single tackle that you want outside linebacker lance break he's going to pretty he's going to pretty much do pretty well there there guys so leave him there you have general hayes as a backup i suggest to put this guy in the middle linebacker position as a backup yeah as a backup why because once you run the three four i know there's going to be a lot of run stoppers out they're going to require you to use a 3-4 or something like that. I suggest to put Geno Hayes as a backup linebacker for um, for Brian Lacker. So, yeah, you know, he's pretty fast. He can he has a pretty much a little bit of awareness right there. He, and he's going to be able to get the tackles uh, sometimes. So, he's going to be able to get there, guys. You know, he has that speed and he's going to be able to get there just like Lacker, guys. But he doesn't have that tackle, so he might meet, he might need a little bit of help. But so you, you pretty much have a fast defense right here, guys. You can see oh, everybody over 86 for Lance Briggs, but he has the tackling, guys. So, not worry about Lance Briggs. He's going to get those tackles in the outside. Now, let's go to the cornerback position. As we can see here, we got Charles Tillman and Tim Jennings. I suggest to leave Charles Tillman and Tim Jennings. I know you're going to say, like, you know, the guy's 5'8". Well, you have no option, guys. So that's the only guy who can actually cover. Unless you want to start Kelvin Hayden, that's about it. You know, he's the guy six foot, he's six feet, but he's not that fast, guys. So you can easily get burned. So I suggest to start either there is more over Team Jennings or something like that because he's actually like one inch taller than him. So you have no option, guys. You have no option. You have to start Jim, Team Jennings right there and uh, put Devin Moore as third and uh, maybe Jonathan Will White over Ke Kevin Hayden because he's pretty damn slow, guys. So yeah, Kelvin Hayden is like kind of useless also and. Um, no, he might not even be in the cornerback position. That's pretty much. This is pretty much your cornerback setup right here, uh, with a little bit of speed and a little bit of coverage. You can easily do good in the zone coverage right here with this kind of corners. And now on the free safety position, I suggest to start Harden over Conte because you know he's six for three. He's gonna prevent you uh, those deep throw passes that gonna that your opponent does, and uh, you're not gonna be able to be burned in the top, over the top from the free safety position. You know he's he's gonna actually swat those balls out of the receiver's hand. He's gonna jump very high. So yeah. Harden is the man for the free safety position. We got the strong safety now, guys. So you can see here we got Major Wright and Craig Stultz. Now, which one do you want to start? Of course, Major Wright, guys. Major Wright has speed. He has more speed than Stultz, and he has more acceleration. So, yeah, Major Wright is your guy at the strong safety position. Kickers, you know, it's just in right there. Robbie Gold, Adam Potlish. Now, right here, you have to, you got to have those high overall kick returns. If you have a low overall, you have the higher chance of being fumbled, and, uh, you know, you don't want that, guys, because, you know, once you have the, the flow in your, in your offense or something, some kind of comeback, maybe, Make sure to have the high overall. Now just that flow is gonna die, and then you're gonna be sad for that comeback because you're not gonna be able to do it because your returner fumbled. So yeah, you know these two guys right here, Eric Wings and Devin Hester, are pretty much to the the guys for this job, guys. You can see here 99 overall. There's no chance for a fumble for them. They're not gonna drop it or muff the ball or anything. These guys are like solid guys. They're solid starters right there in the returning position. Kickoff. Um, I don't know if Robbie Gold has a lot of kick power. Let me check. Yep, uh, Potlish is your guy for the kickoff, so guys will not return the ball for you. So Potlish is going to be your guy in the kickoff. Uh, line of scrimmage, I don't know if you guys want to change that, but I'll put Roberto Garza there because he has a higher overall. And uh, for sure, he has a lot more blocking than any kind of uh, any of those linemen right there. And the third running back position, of course, going to be Matt Forte. He's a start, solid starter, guys. He's, no, there's no reason to change him. If he gets like tired, for sure, you, you might want to put a guy for uh, emergency there. Just put Lorenzo Booker right there, and uh, he's going to do the job for you in the third down if Matt Forte gets tired. So, uh, so yeah, guys, this is the. Uh, Death chart analysis for um, for the Chicago Bears. Hopefully you guys like it. If you got any questions, guys? Make sure you comment in the comment section, and I'll make sure I'll answer them, guys. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll be I'll see you in the next team, which is the Cincinnati Bengals, guys. This is the next team that's gonna be analyzed by me. So uh, so yeah, guys. I'll see you guys later, and see you in the next episode.